What's going on, fellow junkies? Horror Junkies 509. Kyle 13th coming at you again today, you guys. And today I'm going to be rolling out with another viewer request video, you guys, because this is a channel. If you see something that you want me to review, just look, put it down in the comments and I'll make sure to get a video of it if I don't have it already, you guys. Uh, so this does go in part with one of my flashback series because I've been going back to all my Halloween masks that have not gotten a solo video. And this was a request. Uh, from a viewer called Claw and Go. So, brother, this is going out to you, and I will be reviewing uh, Trick or Treat Studios uh, H2O mask from uh, Halloween H2O. Uh, one of my favorite Halloween movies. I do love this one. Um, I love the mask as well, but I got some stuff to say about it. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and get right into this, you guys. So, that is the ticket from Trick or Treat Studios for the Halloween H2O mask. Uh, so, that is the production photo that you get. Uh, but sadly, that is not exactly how it looks when you get it. Uh, but I've talked about this many times in my Trick or Treat Studios videos. And of course, I'm wearing my Halloween blues because I am doing a Halloween video. So I should have mentioned that a little bit earlier. But we're already too far. Here we go. Uh, so this is the Trick or Treat Studios it comes with uh, ticket. Uh, so for the care for H2O Michael Myers masks. So I do try and keep those as much as possible because I'm kind of a hoarder, I guess. Uh, but I don't think I have a problem just yet. So, if you guys haven't seen this mask yet, uh, hopefully uh, I'm not going to surprise you with anything here. Uh, but here we go. This is the Halloween H2O mask, you guys. Um, I have some things I absolutely love about this mask, and I have some things I absolutely hate about this mask. Uh, but here's kind of your first look at it. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's go ahead and take this off of my favorite mask holder, which is paper towels, you guys. As some of you know that have been watching me for a while. And like I said, you guys, um, this is a Trick or Treat Studios mask. I do not work for Trick or Treat Studios. They do not pay me for this. So I am one of those reviewers that will call them on a lot of the good things they do. But I also call them out on the crap that they do. And uh, so this is not a biased review in any way, shape, or form, you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Looking at it, you guys, this sculpt, uh, the whole profile is legitly... This looks like the movie. Like, this is very well done. Just one thing you need to remember is that there was three masks in H2O. Uh, so there was this one. There's, there's the K&B effects one um, that I will also get. Trick or Treat Studios makes it. I don't like it a lot, but I think I should get it at some point. And then there was a CGI one, which was just utterly terrible. It was only in, like, one shot, I believe. Uh, so if this isn't exactly what you remember, just keep in mind there were three different masks in that film. Uh, so, but this is the main one, I think, uh, it is, as you can see, it's, uh, the eye holes are way bigger on this one than any of the other Michael Myers' masks, and you can see, like, the, like, his whole eyelid in the movie, so this does make sense. The coloring of it, I think, is beautiful. I think that they did a really good job. Some of the detailings is they do paint the brown in on the eyebrows, which is movie accurate, which is just fine with me. I think it's okay. Even though I like the ones without the eyebrows, period, like, you know, the original one, they ripped them all out, and, you know, they just, it was just the glue marks. Uh, but for this one, I think it works. Like, I really like the look of this. I really am happy with it. Uh, this does not have um, open lips. I understand that uh, the open lips is probably more show accurate, movie accurate, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I prefer it this way because I just feel like at some point with those lips being open, that pulling it on and off is going to start ripping. Um, it hasn't happened yet, but I mean, these masks aren't that old yet. It does have some detailing of, like, where the sideburn was, trying to make it like the original mask. But, uh... This is definitely not of the original mask in any way, shape, or form. Um, as far as other details, you guys, uh, not too much. There's no, like, pinhole or anything like that. So, like, from the needle from the original. So, this is definitely not trying to be the original mask, I don't think. Um, but what do you guys think? What was your favorite mask of H2O? Did you like the terrible CGI one? Did you like the K and, K and B one? I think that's... I'm probably butchering that. So, let me know down in the comments. I think it's, I believe it's K and B. Um, effects mask that they made or this one this was my favorite one so this is the one I got the quickest um, so a lot of good things about this mask you guys uh, I do have to say that this hair is atrocious it's just kind of like a, a it is like a cotton ball like it when, once you move it a little bit it, it all moves together it's just like one big matted mess on here and that's one thing I hate about this mask the only thing I hate about this mask let's go ahead and get that out there um, but I mean this was early on in trick-or-treat studios uh, days doing michael myers so i feel like they've come a long way with the hair is it still is it perfect now no but i would love to see them go back and redo these masks and put their new hair on it i would just absolutely love that uh because getting these things rehaired by people that i've seen is very expensive and you know i'll probably just keep it because this looks like michael myers if he started in the brady bunch um my personal opinion is really afro-y 
uh, when the hair in that one's like really like kind of like uh, spiky and it's like part, like it has a weird part to it. Uh, but it's just it's real bad. Uh, but that is not a reason to not get this mask, you guys, because this mold, this profile is absolutely perfect. If you're just looking at that, I mean, it is a great starter mask. If you want to rehair these, this could be a complete knockout of a mask for 60 bucks or maybe less because it is older. Um, you know, I think this mask does fit actually a little better than some of the newer masks. I feel like they've been going smaller, which is kind of weird. Uh, but let's go ahead and try this bad boy on and see exactly what we got here. All right, you guys, as you guys know, I try to forewarn you. Here comes Chubby Cheek Myers. Uh, yeah, I'm a thicker guy, and when I put on masks, it makes them look chubby. It is what it is, so I say it before you do. <laughs> so here we go, guys. Halloween H2O, Trick or Treat Studios uh, mask. Here we go. As you can see, the, the hair is just so afro-y. But this mask, it, I'm, I have a little bit over a 23-inch head. But there's some great room in here to move around. I can talk. I know that Michael Myers doesn't talk, but I'm doing this for the video. So let's just see what we got here. All right, you guys, so there is a good look at this mask in action because uh, sometimes that's a good selling point is when people get to see these masks in action because uh, sometimes like, you know, just me holding it right here, it doesn't look that good. But sometimes when I actually put it on, it looks a whole lot better. Um, honestly, like you guys have said, I really do enjoy this mask. I think the mold, the sculpt of it is amazing and I think it looks great. It's just the hair just absolutely kills this mask because the hair is so particular in that movie. Like it's different than we've ever seen before. Like they actually, I mean, I think it's kind of similar like that in part six a little bit, uh, where they kind of got, it's kind of messy, but still got, you know, a part shape, like, a, like almost like a part and it's, it's formed. Uh, but I mean, definitely this Afro is not doing it justice. Please. I'm really would love to see these get re-released with new, the new hair. Cause it's not, it's not perfect, but it's so much better than this stuff. Uh, I do want to get these re-haired, re but I'm going to have to come into some money for that stuff. If you guys have any recommendations on where I can do that, that would be great. Uh, but as far as my review on the uh, H2O mask from Trigger Tree Studios, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and give this a solid 7. This is a great, great mask, but just the hair on this one kills it so bad, you guys, that it just kind of ruins, like, the overall look. Like, looking at this thing, you're like, that's not the H2O mask because the hair isn't, it's not an afro in H2O. And I get that, and that's what kind of dings this one so badly for me. But the mold of it is so awesome i'm happy that the lips are not cut open i that always makes me happy this thing fits great if you're a bigger head this will fi probably fit you great if you're bigger than my head that's when it starts getting a little tighter uh but you know those masks i like tight fitting masks way better uh because i don't like that whole bubble head feel that you had when you were a kid like it felt like you could fit like your friend in there if you wanted to uh so i do prefer the tighter fitting masks but overall you guys the details are there the sculpt and molding is there. The hair kills it, but I mean, it's still doable if you're artsy-fartsy a little better than me. I think the coloration is amazing. And, um, you know, I will do another review when I get the K&B mask because I definitely want it at some point. Uh, but what do you guys think of this mask? Do you, what do you think of H2O? Um, I love the movie personally, I just, I, but I know there's a lot of people who don't like it, you guys. As far as this mask, like I said, it's getting a 7 out of 10 for me. I probably shouldn't put ding it so hard for the hair uh but this is some of the worst hair that Trick or treat studios has ever did that i'm aware of uh so but this still gets a solid groovy from the horror junkies 509 you guys call 13th i hope you enjoyed this look back at one of my masks i only have one flashback review left you guys and that is for the halloween 2 hospital mask 
Uh, so I will be rolling that out, but I do have another review, uh, viewer request video for my Halloween or my Friday 13th part eight mask. Uh, so that'll be coming. Um, I do have something coming in the mail that I'll probably be filming on today as well. And I got a lot of stuff to still show you guys. So if you guys want to stick around, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, check me out on my Facebook, Horror Junkies 509, my Instagram at Horror Junkies 509. You guys, I try to be everywhere and nowhere all at once. Uh, so that's going to do it for me. Horror Junkies 509, Kyle 13, signing out just until next time, you guys. And if you already know it, I have been sentenced to life. I am a whore lifer. And you guys, have a killer day. The sun's out. It's beautiful. Go outside. I don't do outside. Outside's bad. Stay bloody, my friends.